Oh, you're not wrapped, are you? Good. Yeah, well, and then to make it that out, there, that right there. there was a bite up there, it looked that like. Then to make it only that much, uh, well, that line's moving. Yeah, come towards you. He'll walk again if he really wants it. He's swimming towards you. He's eventually yeah. the other way, too. Yep, I think he may have it in his mouth. Looked like he swam towards it a little bit. That is literally one foot off the bank. Right, that little rock that's sticking out, it's literally one foot from the bank. Oh. Looks like one and three both got a bite, maybe, unless that was dragon. No, that's definitely a bite. Just, it. Just like that. that was He's on it. Going. There's one. Oh, the side button. Yep, the top side button. There you go. Oh, he looks like a decent fish, actually. It's hard to tell. That water's only two and a half foot deep. Not to get up in the other lines here if I can. He's been here a minute and a half, set up, brother. Yeah, maybe a minute and a half. I think he's out of that line. Whatever it is, it's a decent fish. I think it's a channel. Yep, nice big channel. It is a big old channel. That'll current really makes them pull. It does, right? It gives them a whole new life. <laughs> About a minute. Man, it's nice. And they feel huge, yeah. They get the current pushing on them. They take advantage of it. They start just they start just winching down on it. You bet. <laughs> yeah, it sure does look like something down there's tooling it around. You tell he's a little guy giving his all, you know. Oh yeah. Tries to run with it, and pulls it away from him. You can just see him back there. He's just track. He's got well, one on there now. I think he got him. Yeah, he got he a got friend stuck. Whatever it is, is on there. He got a friend stuck on there. Really did. It, it's this is a little channel, I guess. Yeah, got a couple of them. Yeah, he's a little guy. He, he could have been the one that's all mad because he couldn't quite get it in his mouth. <laughs> He'll find the cat. Yeah, yeah. So you finally figured it out. Was it worth it? A little channel. Pay close attention to where they're casting these poles. One of the things you're going to be able to learn off of today's video is that they were looking for areas where running water led into eddy areas, which is where the water is, is calm because of the back pressure. And they cast near roots and sharp edges where predator fish like channel catfish, which we're targeting, are actually going to sit and wait to attack bait fish. Today. Oh yeah, that'd be rough as hell. Oh yeah. Oh there we go. Oh he, he started play ball. I'd say that one's on there. <laughs> Give him a little pump. pump See if he'll get up here at the top. He feels like a better fish. He, he's he's not letting me get anything going here. <laughs> of course, yeah, when the current's going 150 miles an hour, yeah, yeah. it helps out a little he's bit. 40 mile an hour there, yeah. Pump and then real yeah, it's mainly the current. He's not a bad fish, but not as big as I thought he was for a minute there. This little channel's got big wide tail. Too. Yeah. Oh, 
All right, where you at? Still a good fish though. Another great big old channel cat. Not bad. He took it with him. You know, between the fire poles and the brush creepers, you can see how important I think boat position plays a role in catching fish. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that's absolutely right. Got everything to do with a lot of times. Time to move. We wanted, they should have done and got it. Take our groceries and go somewhere else. You can that's have what's the fun highest about it. dollar matching poles, or you can have the cheapest Walmart dollar, the cheapest dollar Walmart pole and come sit on the bank and it's still the same relaxing hobby that everybody can enjoy and everybody has something common. So one of the things I noticed when we were, we were coming upstream here, you skipped a whole bunch of trees and you got up here and where the water's moving faster. Is that because you were trying to get to where the water's moving? Yes, I'm trying to get to where it's coming off these riffles where birds are killing shad and whatnot and it's washing the water fast as we can to that. That way these catfish can hide behind the brush pile, lurch out behind them, grab their bait, go back in the brush. Okay, so, uh, that makes sense. And all the channel cattle stay up real tight up yeah, in the brush. Hide in the brush, okay. especially in the shallow water. They don't want to be out here roaming out in the open. They're going to suck down tight to that brush. Okay, that makes sense. Sure. That one's got a bite. Yep. They're trying to get set up and already getting bites. It happens a lot on this boat, I've noticed. Yeah, they're hungry. They get to them, they get to them fast. Yeah, that makes sense. Things moving by quick, they're going to get it done. And There's one right there. Oh. That fish is on That's there. on there. That's a fish, gentlemen. There he is on That's a very good fish. That's exactly what I want today. We'll take it. I want 10 more. Is he stuck in that one? I don't think he's moving towards me at all. I'll try. Yeah, that's a nice fish. He feels pretty good. Of course, he's got current at his, at his front too, but, but he feels pretty good. Man, some big head shakes. I think it's a decent fish. Yeah, I'm trying to suck to the bottom. I bet you this one's going to get near the, the double digits. He's going to prove me wrong. You didn't look that big. This is getting one now. No, I was correct. That is a double digit fish. This is one now. Well, close. He's close. <laughs> Might be a little smaller than that. I was talking. I was talking too soon. I tell you what, they get that leverage with that with that current, and they feel huge. I mean, he's a great fish, great fish, but he's not a double. It's a very nice catfish. This blood is both of us, by the way. He just took the skin off of that knuckle, but that's a great fish right there. This is exactly why people go to Grand Lakes. Seven, maybe eight pounds. So that's a nice channel cat. So. Yeah, oh yeah. Once he got a little water at his face, it was, I mean, I'm a little winded. <laughs> he put me to work. So, that's very, very nice. We're gonna get him back home so you guys have a chance to get him. Oh, we can pull one or two more channels. Oh, there we go. There oh. he is. I bet that was on there. I would say he's definitely on there, yeah. <laughs> that's why I do it, let him hang <laughs> He hung it pretty hard, too. <laughs> well, look, he's got a camera on, but he's got a camera on. We gotta be nice now. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's over the other line, I think. Oh, wow, he's running somewhere. Where's he going? You're not in that boy. He's getting his own bike. How was that? Uh, he just uh, started getting really mad here a second ago. He didn't like that. He's a good looking little fish too. Yeah. I like to hear him. We've done pretty uh, pretty heavy little fish today. I mean, all things considered, none of them been bad fish.
Beautiful fish, too. Long, slender, little dots all on them. Got them all backwards in his mouth there. That's but... caught on a sucker in case anybody's curious. This will be it, guys. So we've had a, a good day out here. Um, we had to bust pump today. And those days do happen, and we knew it. We talked on the phone. The weather changed, and all of the fishing reports were saying that it was a really, really hard day. So when I called him and said, you know, I want to do some channel cat fishing, he said we're going to work hard for it. We did, but as you guys have seen, we caught some great fish. We're going to end it with about the perfect eater size, really, and uh, just a lot of fun. So uh, I do want to urge you guys to take a moment. You're going to see a commercial here in a second. This is Fish on Guide Service Nelson's commercial. Uh, write down the number or give them a call, and you can come up here and have a good time. Catch some of these for yourself, and we'll see you guys next week. This is Nelson Watson, sure. Fish on Guide Service, Grand Lake, Oklahoma. We provide uh, charter trips and guide trips for Spoonbill through the uh, middle of November to the, about the last part of April. We catfish all winter, all summer, all spring. Offer some great shallow water catfishing all up and down the river as well as down on the lake. We offer some terrific white bass trips all season long. A lot of good crappie fishing trips. In the summertime, we do a lot of boat fishing night interested in please give me a call Nelson Watson 417-214-8645 fish on guide service